Ja, wir lassen Ah, wir sehen uns ja. Abib und ähm, I'm fine. Oh, this must be class web, right? Do you have the class Yes, web? yeah, yes, Oh, yes. yeah, and the voice just connected because you, though I saved your contact, I recognize you by the content of our chats. Yeah, not Okay. by the name. So, how All right. are you? Awesome. Right. Good. It's nice Yeah, to good see to you. see you again. Thank you, thank you. Uh, even though I can see, you need to hear your voice. <laughs> okay, can I proceed with my question? Please go ahead. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you. Uh, some of these uh, pages on uh, university, especially there in the US, Okay. you find them saying that you should make sure that you get an advisor or someone who has agreed to supervise your project there Mm -hmm. before you proceed to you know apply. But Okay. sometimes you message some of these professors, especially those that you find that your area of interest align, and you find them not responding. Perhaps they might be busy than you think. So should that be a reason why you stop the application or you should go ahead nonetheless? Okay, thank you so much for your question. I like this because it's a common problem. Yeah. So one thing you need to put into, I, I will try to give you a solution for answering your question because I think your answer, the answer to your question is almost obvious to everybody, but they don't know the solution. So I'll start with the solution. So the solution, let me just give you a, a general idea first. So you have to be conscious of time zone. time zone so the timing you have to check because in us us has three different time zones so that i'm here and the time is okay 8 43 a.m right now does not imply that in another place in us it's 8 43 yes it doesn't imply that so in fact um i think um we are the early uh, we are the um We are further ahead of other places in the US. Yeah. We are further ahead of other places in the in the US. We are only five hours different from Nigeria. There are places that are six hours, and there are places that are seven hours, and there are places that are eight hours. I think it's up to eight hours, yeah. Difference. So you have to put those things into consideration. So imagine you messaging someone around 1 a.m. their time. For you, it's just going to be like, oh, this is 8 a.m. You should have woken up and just power up. This is the time I have time. Okay. You are not going to get a reply. Yeah. Okay. And because now you have to also know how things work in this place. How do how how do those things work here? Generally, because they are differing places, but generally how it works is this. They don't They sleep, like, say, a professor sleep maybe late, say, around 12, 1. Um, I think those are even early. I'm not sure. <laughs> But even some people have discussed with you guys sleep around 1. Yeah, some of them 2. Okay. But there are few that might say, okay, 12, 11. So they sleep around those times. And then when you wake up, they... Uh, they might wake up early, but they don't, they're not active in the early mornings because, Okay. yeah, they're not active in the early mornings because um, for them, they take good rests in the morning and they resume work. I think earliest time I've found here that work resumes is nine o'clock, earliest, nine o'clock. So Wow. usually you can see 10 People resume 11, depending on their time, their resumption time. And here, things are done based on even payment is hourly. So it's hourly. So you come when you have, when it's time for your shifts. So you don't really just come anyhow and all that. So your basic mail, mail, uh, mode of communication is via mail when it comes to um, school applications and all that. Via mail. Thank you. So they prefer mail and communication. Now, having that background is good, but I still need to go further to give you better ideas. Now, imagine you send in from a mail from your personal account 
When you send them email from your personal account, it's likely going to a spam. Yes, because it's coming from an, uh, an external account into uh, uh, this university, one of the university email. Because okay. of course, it's the university email that you be sending it to. That is their like their official email. Yeah, so yeah. it will not recognize. It will record, It will note your email as a personal, yeah, uh, email, and it could be a fraudulent or a spam or whatever. If it's okay. like, it could be anything. So it depends. It could classify the mail as. Um, a spam. So to avoid all these things, the best thing to do is to send from your school email. So when you send a mail from your where your own school email, for example, your school is Federal University Lokoja, and you're sending from um full something something your name initials at fullokoja.edu.ng. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now, when Sorry. the email will be coming to them, it's going to indicate that, okay, this email is coming from another university, okay? okay. But it's not going to classify your email as um, a spam because it's coming from an educational um, organization. So they are, more likely, they are more likely to receive that email, okay? Now, another thing about sending emails is this. I see people, when they want to message professors and all that, okay, let's say you follow the timing you send from your university email and um, you are conscious of how activities run around the place, okay? Now, and you send out an email. It doesn't still mean you be attended to because some people, they've never spoken to the professor before. They've never initiated a conversation and the first thing they do is they type so long emails like a letter of application very long i mean so so long i mean i don't know how to size that so long okay. i think they're applying then they attach different documents my cv my birth certificates my original my certificate, <laughs> like so many certificates i was or you know i was just joking but you understand what i'm saying Attaching yeah. too many certificates and, and documents and expecting these things. What if you are sending something like that? Meaning you are giving the person work to do. Of course, yeah, he has to now go through all that. You need to, apart from the fact that he receives mail normally, that he has to attend to those things that are connected to his current official responsibility. A lot of emails, I tell you, really, we receive a lot of emails. So imagine someone else now giving him a task to do. Now he, he expects that, of course, the portal is there and all that. So it should be a good guide for you and all that. And it's not like he has, he has expressed interest in you or anything. Nothing has happened yet. Okay. And that was the first contact you're having with him. And if the first contact is a big responsibility. And let's say, unluckily enough, it falls in a time where he has a schedule. Because the fact that you message him during the day doesn't mean he's free during the day. Because it might, it might be it, um, his most busy acti um, academic activity day. So yeah. you don't send him during the day and you're saying, oh, expectedly, he should have that. Uh, it, it will be less busy and all that. No, the, the mail will just be there. Yeah, might just be on path and they forget because he has a lot of things he really puts his mind into. And if okay. he will, does not mean it goes through everything, just so he'll okay, do his work later. If he just says later, ah, that's the end. Because he has viewed it, so he's going to mark that he has viewed it. So anytime he wants to check his mail, he will look for new mails. Like I just enter. So you see all those kind of things. So the best thing you can do is on first contact, don't um how do I put this word? Don't start bombarding with so many bulky content. No, okay. it's make it so short and simple. Yeah, I did a demo one time like that. See if I can remember uh when I did the demo. Uh, was it the last meeting? I'm not sure it's the last meeting. I think 
I think if it's not the last meeting, it will be the meeting before the last meeting. Okay. So in that meeting, I did a short demo on how to just send a mail to professors just to make maybe a few inquiries or all that. And yeah, I'm trying to find the mail so I get everything property. Okay. Yeah. So okay, I think I'm uh, the, yeah, there's I found the mail. So I just start. Let me show you what I did. Very okay. simple, straightforward, short, without um, too much problems. The main thing is conversation, not just about the fact that ah, I'm this and that. You, you can bring this up later, okay? But initiate okay. conversation and let at least let an interest be developed. So this is what I did. I sent a mail to another university and I used my own university mail. You see, okay. notes. I use my own university mail. Now, then, um, when I send the mail, yeah. So, even though the timing, let me let me highlight this also. <clears throat> even though the timing, maybe uh, they are busy when you send the mail. If the content is short, you are most likely going to get a response. Okay. Because when I sent the mail, that very date was around ten fifty eight. We were just having online meeting like this, and I was showing. Um, example practical examples and then i just composed the mail right there sent it and i will tell you when they reply mails okay. mails they usually reply mails um at night usually they finish academic activities for the day and other activities and they're back home so within that period um usually around 10 11 12 they reply mails so if okay. you can send a mail within that period and be someone who replies mail, not someone who receives mail and you have to think for 10 days before you know what to reply. <laughs> to them, mail is more like the way you use text, text messages. Okay. Not text messages, the way you use WhatsApp. That, that okay. To them, yeah. So that's why you have to keep it short if you are having using whatsapp and someone gives you a very long stuff <laughs> of course i won't read you, won't, you just won't. and you are even saying read more ah. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that's how it is so you have to be conscious of that it's it's not you have to make sure how did i put this i said hello professor xxx i am i am the ajiboy I was going through the mathematics PhD program overview displayed on the website, and a few things caught my interest. I would like to open a dialogue with you to know more about the program. Thank you, Ayomide. That's all. <laughs> That's all. And you know when he replied? He replied 11.05 p.m. Wow. That's when it's, it was three. And he replied, I continued that night. We just we exchanged a lot of mails because, like I said, it's like chats to them. A lot of okay. to the point that he already knows me where my point where the point where I am, what my interest where my interests lie, the things I am looking forward to, and my future goals and aspiration. But I didn't just compose a big long message and put all of those things and expect him to give me all those replies. No, initiate the conversation. Okay. 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 Yeah. So, and in fact, if you find a, a professor that you like to work with and something that is favorable, you can initiate a conversation, and then maybe you want you want him. Maybe it's not even considering your expertise or how good you are in that that area, and then you can just tell him that okay, you have maybe if uh, fifteen minutes. Um, uh, 15 minutes chat or video chat, just a chat via Zoom with him so that you can discuss your interests and um your research experiences and background and how it correlates with the things he's already doing. See? Just put those things. They will feel like, okay, the time is short, just 15 minutes. Okay, I can arrange for that. You see? Look at that. And... You get your, your time with him, you prepare, like you are preparing for something meaningful. 
And then he gets to know you, know your experience and all that. And he gets interested in you. Yeah. Mm. So, like, uh, I think now coming to answer your question, you don't give up when they don't reply. You change strategy. And that strategy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. That was really insightful. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, God bless you. All right. So uh, it's almost time. Just two minutes to the ending. So I guess I'll just be ending since you're the only one here. And I don't think you have another question. So thank you so much for today. And have a great weekend. Bye. All right. You too. Bye.